Literally all I do is sit here in this motherfucking chair and watch Tana Mojo. <laughs> Hey, what up you guys, your girl Taylana, and welcome back. Ignore me looking busted, I'm about to look slightly less busted because guess what I'm doing today? I am actually going to a Tana Mojo meet and greet. Don't judge. Don't judge. I have no shame in it. I, I love, love her. her. So basically it's canceled live. So we get to watch her and Brooke do a podcast live. It's gonna be super slay. And me and my friend Katie got VIP seats and a meet and greet because- My only personality trait is watching Tana Mojo anyways at this point. So I am just gonna take you along, getting ready with me, talking about it, talking about some super fun things that I have going on and just updating you on my life. Let's go bitch. Yo, in true Tana fashion, my homegirl did not announce this until a week ago. Thank Thank God I'm in town. This is gonna be a little bit of a life update. So basically, if you guys don't already know, uh, you guys should also go follow me on TikTok right now and Instagram while you're at it. All of my social media is at Taylana Jordan. Hit me up, DM me on TikTok. I just had a TikTok two weeks ago, blow the fuck up. And of course, naturally it's about Tana because again, only fucking personality trait. Like I literally don't have a personality outside of her. Anyways, this is the TikTok. <laughs> He has three Tana Mojo songs on his phone. Tana's the best. I stand behind her. She's awesome. <laughs> As of May 5th, it has 600,000 views, which is kind of slay. I've had a couple viral TikToks, but this is like the one that I've been the most excited about because it is related to Tana. And I got a bunch of like influencer, celebrity type of interaction on it. So I got like very excited about it. Before I get to the icing on the motherfucking cake, Brooke Schofield commented, Spence Maw liked it. One of the girls from F Boy Island liked it and commented. Tara Yummy commented. Yeah, anyways, I'm screaming. So then Tana commented, she commented, this may be a month, I can't even explain to any ASAP. My dad is on Dana Mojo's fucking feed right now. I was literally scream crying. This is her video that she posted. <laughs> He has three Tana Mojo songs on his phone. Tana's the best. I stand behind her. She's <laughs> awesome. And to top it the fuck off, this woman. This woman. She DM'd me on Instagram. I was playing Fortnite in the middle of it because like I play Fortnite and I'm obsessed with it and like don't fucking ask me about it anyways. We have to play Fortnite together. I was in the middle of playing it my boyfriend was visiting and we were just like tip tapping away, fucking getting a Victoria Royale as you fucking do. And I see my phone like blowing the fuck up. I'm like, girl, what the fuck? So I check my Instagram DM and what do I see? A DM from Miss Mojo herself saying, I need to meet you and your dad. And so I was like, oh my God, like good job on finishing 75 hard. Not like expecting her to fucking see it because like who, literally who the fuck am I? So anyways, she saw it, she replied. And if anything, like she clicked on my profile, went to my Instagram and then DM'd me. Like this man, like, like viewed my face. Like she saw my face with her own eyes. Like, and he unironically loves Tana's music. And I kind of fucking agree. I kind of also love it. Hefner is a bop. W is a bop. Without you, it's the boppiest bop of all bops. Many people in the comments noticed that he had the same number of Tana Mojo songs as he did Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> three Tana and three Taylor, because clearly those are on the same bar. Don't kill me, Swifties. And so I showed my dad when it hit like 100k views. I was like, oh my god, dad. I like was at like a work meeting and I like check it. I was like, what? What the fuck? And I like just like couldn't focus because I was so excited. But if you are my employer, I was definitely paying attention and I was so focused. <laughs> I showed my mom and my mom was like dying laughing because my dad very much so, does not want to be on camera. And he literally went and read every single comment. So if you guys like did watch that TikTok, my dad did see all of your nice comments. There was a couple people trying to hit him up in the comments. Someone was like, is he single? I'm like, no. She's like, oh damn, oh man. I decided to um, reply to Tana's comment as one does, cause I'm such a fucking influencer. <laughs> so I got my dad, like he does know the lyrics to like all of her songs. He could like fucking drop mad fucking bars on Hefner right now. If I gave him a mic, Steve would pull up with a fucking remix of Hefner. Yeah, so Steve would fucking lay a fat fucking bar on that. Everybody was on their knees praying to the Lord and the Lord is Steve. She literally announced that she's coming to Phoenix and I'm like, bitch, I will be there. Mother Tanabus is waiting for us. So like, you better fucking pull up, but he is not. Therefore, I'm going with Katie. I do want to tell you in October, Tana and Brooke were doing a club appearance in Tempe. So I was like, uh, like mom's coming, we gotta pull up. In true Tana fashion, like she came like so fucking late, which is fair. She came at like midnight and we had moved around the club a lot because we were just trying to get away from people. Like it was hot, it was sweaty, like it was just a lot. 
So we go and stand off to the side. Little did I know, we were right next to the VIP section. So I was standing within like five feet of her. Brooke Blue kisses at me and said that she loves me and I screamed. <laughs> super cool. I was such a fan girl. Brooke was vlogging and she vlogged part of that night. And so I'm literally, you could see me in it like two times. And I was like screaming when I watched her vlog. I was like, oh my God, that's me. That's me. This bitch like breathe, like breathe near me. Like what? Are you kidding? I'm so nervous. Like I have really bad planning anxiety. So like when I have like a big event that I'm like really looking forward to, like at the end of the day, I, I can't do anything all the day. I've actually been like trying to do stuff, but then I plan too much stuff for me to do. So then I'm just like, oh, like actually, like I actually have reasons to be stressed now, which is really smart, Taylana. I also have to take a break and play Fortnite with friends. I also wanted to paint my nails because like, I can't like meet the queen with like shitty nails, you know, like. Like 13 year old girls shaving their entire fucking body when they go to like a concert and like the nosebleeds because they think like Harry Styles is gonna like see them and like wanna f them. Um, not because they're 13, but like that was like the thought process of like 13 year old girls. They're like, oh my God, like he's gonna see me and like want me and I have to like look so perfect for him. It's like, no <laughs> fuck down girl. Like, I miss vlogging. I miss like sitting there and just talking about like, cause I don't talk like in my vlogs. Like I, I just show things I do. I like haven't talked in one in a while. I, okay, so I work with kids. I work at a group home. Huge life dip update. Like you guys literally haven't seen anything I've fucking done in like four months because I've been too depressed to like talk about anything <laughs> to like turn a camera on. Like a high trauma teenage girl group home. It is super interesting. Cause I got a degree in psychology. I've had that job for like seven months now. I love it. None of the kids know that I have this channel and we're not gonna tell them. That would be so bad. They would roast the fuck out of me. I'm like the youngest person that works there. So I'm like kind of close to their age. So like, I think they're funny. Like I get their humor. I'm not like 40 and like don't understand Gen Z humor. But I told them, I was like, oh my God, like I had like a TikTok go viral and like they're young. So obviously they're like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then I'm like, do you know who Tana Mojo is? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, uh, keep it to yourself. But I felt so old. I'm like, do kids like not know who she is now? Cause like, she was part of like the OG like YouTubers growing up. Like I hate when I tell people and they're like, is she the girl that fake married Jake Paul? I'm like, uh, no, she's the girl that got fucked with a toothbrush. Keep it in check. Keep yourself in check, girl. Update your resources, cite your sources. Come on. Okay. I gotta let this cool down before I brush it out. Don't worry, I will. I'm not in the fucking era of girlhood where I forget to fucking brush my hair out all the time because I used to fucking not ever do that. I don't know why like the George Washington look does look kind of slight to me. Could just be me though. I'm such a fangirl. Like most YouTubers, I would be like pretty excited, but like, oh my God, I just love her. She's like my favorite. But let's look at some of those fucking comments guys. Cause y'all are funnier than I could ever fucking be. Except for Steve. Steve is way funnier than all of you. Someone was like, oh, please make this a sound. So I did. This guy did use it and it was so iconic. And I was like literally like pissing my pants laughing because I showed my dad literally someone like lip syncing to his voice like he was my dad was so excited imagine your dad listening to i want to throw bands on these hoes and i said imagine him singing it because he knows all the words and it's true was it hafner oh my god i'm dead he sees the vision he does see the vision <laughs> we all team tana even the paparazzi team tana on god even the dad's team tana on god me now and in 50 years the parent i'd aspire to be my dad's the same with lana my dad's the same with halsey and olivia rodrigo my dad literally is obsessed with both of them he's just trying to throw bands on these hoes for real <laughs> Hopefully this heals your daddy issues, bestie. <laughs> Anyways, y'all are funny. I'm gonna have to beat my face like a motherfucker. Like, she's gonna be like up in my face. I get to meet Brooke too. I get to meet Mindy. <laughs> you want like an idea of successes and you want to be like, oh, I want to surgery. Okay, horrible lighting. I look so bad in this lighting. Hold on. I am heading out. Me and Katie are gonna be getting dinner at Sauce, which is like literally my favorite fucking restaurant. Basically anywhere that has mac and cheese, I am so down for it. I love mac and cheese, it's my favorite food. So the doors open at 9.15 and I just like really want good seats. I'm gonna drive to McDonald's and then I don't know where I'm going from there. I, I was just auto driving. I'll be back. Holy fucking shit. Oh my God, that was the up volume. Okay. Holy shit. I literally just like, I was like, I always like whenever there's pedestrians in like parking lot or like cars, I just let them go. I don't fucking care, I'm not an aggressive driver. But I literally just let this guy and this family go, like two kids, whatever, go. You know who it was? 
an old high school teacher. Triggering. Hi, can I just get a large Diet Coke and that's it? I go to McDonald's. Probably every fucking video I've ever made where I leave the house. Every fucking day I get, I go to McDonald's at least once. Until now, because they, I've always had one dollar sodas of any size, okay? I always get a large, obviously. It's now one fucking 40 to get a Diet Coke. So, you know, now I've started not going to McDonald's. Having a little bit of protest, which clearly I'm, I'm, I'm not doing so well on. But generally, I am not going to McDonald's as much anymore because they raised the price and now it's the same as the gas station that's by my house. So I usually just go to that instead. Anyways, so that was my 13th reason. We are living on the edge. All I had was Diet Coke, $1 Diet Coke. And um, God said, nope, Whoop. you fucking thought, bitch. This is the fit with boots. And um, I got mascara in my eyebrows, so now it looks like I did my eyebrows. I've never done on my eyebrows before, so. I just spilled so much of that down my fucking tit, bro. Oh my God. No, it's leaking. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that guy made eye contact with me. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's, let's head over. Let's go. I'll see you when I'm at Sauce. Maybe a little car montage on the way. Starts. Imagine while we're sitting there with our little drinky drinks waiting for Tana to come out and then they start playing Hefner because that would be so iconic. Okay, so now I've seen Sabrina Carpenter twice. She has like the same pre concert playlist and she always ends with All Too Well the full 10 minute version right before she comes out because she knows that she caters to Swifty. So I'm like, mm, I would love to see every bitch screaming, fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. She's in her telepathic era. Oh, so you know how this was like somewhat produced by Mod Sun? I went and saw Mod Sun. I was second row. It was my brother's first concert. We just went and saw him. It was so fucking good. Oh my God, he's so talented. The day before the concert or whatever, I tweeted, I love at Tana Mojo, but Karma's a fucking banger. And she liked it. And I was like, oh my God, Slay. Of course, this was foreshadowing the whole TikTok situation. Then Mod Sun likes it. I'm like, oh my God, I am the only person that can bring these two together. Which is also foreshadowing the fact that the day after my concert in Phoenix, he did his last show on his tour in LA. He fucking invited her. And now they're fuck buddies again, I believe. I believe. Allegedly. So, I am the one that brought them together, obviously. <laughs> am I conceited? Fucking yes, I don't even care. Matsun held my motherfucking hand from the stage, reach out to me. Sorry for my flying squirrel wing moment right there. Um, I didn't mean to fucking jump scare you, but. I'm the one that obviously brought them together. That's why he invited their show because they liked my tweet together, obviously. Obviously my TikTok is the reason that she's coming to Phoenix. So I'm just a fucking psychopath at this point. It's all about you. Little did you guys know, this song is actually written about me. Feels like my heart's 
been tired of I just love listening to Tana Mojo's ex's music. And the chest is not Oh God. <laughs> I'm at sauce. Time to get mac and cheese. Okay, me too. It's like panic cut out. <laughs> we have no concept of how many people are here, and we're like, oh, there's at least at least five people. Yeah, at least five. At least She could literally spit on me right now. Dude, I had sex with this guy, and afterwards, Sorry, you, you already knew that was coming. Afterwards, he's like laying in bed, like trying to cuddle with me, like, oh baby, like, how was it? Like, whatever. I'm laying next to him on safari, like researching Helen Keller for an hour and a half. I swear to God, I was like, did she have a boyfriend? She had a boyfriend. She Helen Keller got love. Well, well, a lot of people believe she's like not even real, right? She flew a fucking plane. I'm gonna get so motivational, like Joel Osteen up here. If y'all are ever feeling like you can't do something, Helen Keller flew a plane. Three by toast. So if y'all have a drink, and if you don't, shut up and hold your drink up. Here's to love, cheers to honor. If you can't go here, come on here. Fun game. I want to play a fun game. You guys already know. I think all men ever, even though I'm dating all men ever, are a walking ick. They give me the ick so fucking hard. Know some of your it. What's your biggest it? When he's a SoundCloud rapper with a porn stash. Oh, she said when he's a SoundCloud <laughs> rapper with a porn stash. <laughs> We're on our way to Phoenix finally. We're excited. Wow, that's hot. Y'all know with my 30 year old chain smoker voice, I can never hear that. Are we Eskimo sisters? Who is it? Who is it? Okay, I'm gonna place my money that it's Lil Xan or Tiger. People on tour who love me. I meet more girls who have fucked Lil Xan. I'm trying to think of anything crazy I've done recently, like stalk a man. Talk about your new boyfriend. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Because here's the thing. If you talk about boyfriend one, boyfriend two, three, four, five, and six, I think you so upset. Someone gives me good dick once. And I... He could, he could kill his family. <laughs> and I would just be like, oh my god, he was being so cute and quirky that day when he stabbed his mother. <laughs>
much. I cannot believe you made that video. I can't believe you've ever heard a song of mine. You must love this girl so much just like I do. Oh my God. What did she say to you? Well, she said I'm beautiful, my makeup looks good, and I have perfect tits. <laughs> oh my fucking god, bitch. I couldn't fucking suck in, I was too nervous. Oh, I hate, I hate when that happens. You're like, I, I, I'm so scared, I forgot to suck in. She literally she said, fucking- have good tits. <laughs> it's true. Who's gonna say otherwise? She said she wanted to grab them. <laughs> you can if you want to. Please. She did not do that though. I literally, I was like, oh my god, my dad made that video where he was like, hey, I, I stand her, I love her music. And she got on her knees for me. Can you fucking believe that? That bitch got on her fucking knees for me. Screaming, crying. Oh my god. She's so nice. I told her that I've been watching her since high school, and she oh goes, "I'm god. so sorry." <laughs> you had to go through. Oh my god. Now we have to remember where we parked. I kind of blacked out, so I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh my god. But the way I was sitting, I was like this the entire time to like look over my shoulder and my neck is like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. I can't believe she complimented my makeup. It looks good. Oh, what? Literally, what the fuck? I was like, oh, thank she you. She called me a supermodel. She called me a supermodel. Oh. I'm like, I'm literally gonna start a career. I'm gonna start a career because of it. <laughs> literally, and Brooke went to U of A, and I was like, bear down. She did it with me. I was like, stop. I guess we'll just have to walk down this. We're walking down the ramp? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> the clearance. <laughs> if you eat shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> You goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. I literally hope you burn in hell. Like, if you are watching this, I wish nothing but the worst, most horrible, fucked up things to happen to you for the rest of your life. I hope you sit up your home on every fucking couch. I hope everywhere you go, every time you go to the DMV, there's a long ass line. I hope every single one of your favorite shirts you spill coffee on. I hope every single person you ever date for the rest of your life cheats on you. I hope you get early erectile dysfunction. I hate you. And if you are watching this, I just want you to know from the bottom of my toes to the top of my fucking scalp. Fuck you. Yeah.